Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf and today I am bringing you The Sum of the Whole by Brenda Murphy. This is a lesbian romance published by Nine Star Press. Brenda Murphy has this way of bringing us a story that is sultry and seductive and sensual and I love them so much. I'm probably going to say this name wrong but I pronounced it the entire time Jaya but it might be Jaya. My husband's name is Jay. That's just Anyway, Jaya, Jaya, is a mistress who has had a really rough childhood, kind of a ruthless adulthood is how I'm going to put it, while she worked in the family business, which was uh, intense. And I kind of saw myself when I was younger, kind of working in the same kind of business. I thought it would be fun. Interesting. World travel, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, not so much. She's coming off of a relationship and she decides that she's going to spend some time for herself. The person in her life who really brought her down, gave her so many scars mentally and physically, has now died. So she's kind of doing a celebration, living life now how she wants to live it. So she goes to this house. It's kind of um, a modern day brothel. She kind of sees a uh, submissive that she's very attracted to on so many levels and they really hit it off. And on one aspect it's kind of like are they really hitting it off because Jaya paid for this service? Or are they really hitting it off because they have chemistry together? Is it a mix of both? And that's kind of something that Jaya struggled with. And Sarah, the other main character, struggled with too. All I have to say is that holy crap balls talk about extremely sexy. These scenes between Jaya and Sarah are delicious. So freaking hot and steamy and romantic to an extent. Like, oh, mama loved it so much. In this book, there seems to be some continuing um, themes and presses and things that really, really needed to be dealt with. One thing was the communication. Like, Jaya is used to being in charge and she's had to be in control, right on it, you know, taking care of everything. And that's what she wants in a relationship. She wants to take care of somebody. Sarah has had to take care of herself for so long that she doesn't want Jaya just coming in and rescuing her like she's some damsel in distress. Like that just kind of pisses her off. So we have this uh, two stubborn women that seem to not listen really well to each other, what the other needs. And that's the big thing is they're not listening to the needs. Jaya needs to have this control. Sarah needs her independence. And instead of like compromising and finding a level ground, they're just constantly butting heads. And along with the listening is the understanding. Yeah, okay, Jaya's hearing what Sarah is saying, but she's not taking it in to an understanding. She's letting it come in, but then she's fighting back with what she wants. And then Sarah's fighting back with what she wants. And it causes a lot of anguish and just seriously frustration. And then there comes trust. Jaya has a real big issue with trust, but she also does some things that make Sarah doubt her, not given to her trust, not trust Jaya at all. I kind of, I get both of their points of view here. And I understand where both of them are coming from, but I swear to God, sit down like the two adults you are and have this conversation. Jaya just wants to be in total control. And like I said, I get where she's coming from. Part of it is she wants Sarah to be safe and she wants to know that Sarah's safe. But Sarah has lived her whole life pretty much alone and she knows how to take care of herself. She's independent. Granted, there's something that happens in this book. Jaya uses it against Sarah and that kind of pissed me off too. Like this is this one instance. And you're going to use that to harbor everything? Come on now. In between the frustrating scenes and the breakdown of communication and just irritability of both of them is some wicked hot sex, some sensual, just, mm, and some fucking. I mean, this is an erotic tale. And I enjoyed like every second of it. I loved getting to know these characters a little better. How they met was kind of like unique. You don't see very many modern day brothels in stories anymore. And for like a romance to bud out of it the way that this one does was quite interesting. And not all of the story is frustrating. They would be funny and carefree and in love and romantic. And then something would happen and then we'd butt heads again. And I just wanted to rip my hair out. 
in a good way. I am giving the sum of the whole by Brenda Murphy five stars. I loved the sex and I loved the story. So what I'm going to do for you is leave the nine star press link and Amazon link down below so you can one click and be on your way. If you've enjoyed this review, I'm going to ask that you help me with that YouTube algorithm and give me a like. Leave me a comment. I love to interact with all of you guys and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I like to have something out between Sunday and Thursday, you know, in those days. But I don't know like what time in those days. Sometimes I have double reviews, sometimes I don't. And that's the magic of the subscribe button is that you will get a notification when I have something new for you. If you're like me and think this chick's pretty awesome, or if you want updates on what I'm reading, how I'm feeling about what I'm reading, if I can't get something out to you guys, I'm going to leave my Facebook page and my Twitter down below. If you have a book or an arc you'd like me to read, you can request via website. That will be down below too. Some of the Whole by Brenda Murphy, published by Nine Star Press, five stars. Bye. Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. Today I'm bringing you Addict. Book number one in the Cassie Tam Files by Matt Doyle, published by Nine Star Press. This is a sci-fi futuristic murder mystery thriller with a side of lesbian romance. Cassie Tam is a PI. She wanted to be a cop, but cops these days, especially in New Hopeland, are kind of corrupt after you hit a certain spot. And so she decided